So what we are really encouraging is that you accept the reality of this vibrational reality. Do you, do you know there's a reality and there's a vibrational reality? Do you know that the vibrational reality precedes the reality? In other words, there is always a vibrational equivalent of something before there is a manifestation of it. And in this vortex of creation, all things that you want have been gathered and are held by the resources that create worlds for you, for you to feel your way into the vicinity of. So today we're going to be talking about getting into the vortex on Monday. The book will finally be released <laughs> getting into the vortex it's been driving Jerry and Esther crazy that they can't just put it in your hand because they have discovered that it seems to do the work and do you know what its secret is it plays music that is unusual in canter and asks that you find a breathing pattern that matches it but because it's unusual in its canter it's one two three strong breaths in and then five breaths out not what you think you do often what you do when you sleep but not what you think you do you think you go <laughs> three long breaths in five shorter breaths out and it requires so much of your attention at first that you can't think about those worrisome thoughts you've been thinking about so just focusing upon the music that is played puts you in a place of less resistance and then in the background we are speaking to you everything that the source within you knows about everything that matters to you now this is a tool that will put you in the vortex you don't need it you just need to know that there is a vortex and want to get in and you need to notice when you are in and do that more often and once you're in the vortex it's helpful if you notice what thought threw you out and then avoid that thought if you can by thinking thoughts that help you to maintain your frequency we want to help you to realize that so much of the effort that you've been offering effort to meditate effort to focus effort to accomplish goals effort to make your world a better world your personal world or your your physical world a better world so much of the effort that you've been offering has been from your keen awareness of what you don't want the majority of the effort that the majority of people that the majority of you know which means almost everybody is offering almost all of their effort from outside the vortex and that's why it feels hard to make the point we've been playing with these money and the law of attraction cards they're affirmation cards and most people would think that an affirmation card would be a good thing go to the mailbox don't have as much money in my bank account as I do bills in the mailbox so I'll buy these brilliant cards we wrote them <laughs> and from my place of worry or concern or even fear I will begin efforting through the process of affirmation I will tell my story as I want it to be I want more money <laughs> whatever I desire I can acquire I'll send this in with my payment <laughs> achieving success is my natural birthright somebody should have told my parents I got nothing from them nothing my every story is attracting its vibrational match yeah 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 I am the creator of my own life experience this is very bad news <laughs> you sort of get what we're getting at when you're outside the vortex and you effort there's a backlash because 
it activates a defensiveness within you that sort of defends where you are. Sort of like when you have a disagreement with a friend on the same point and the friend believes one way and you believe the other way and the more you talk, the more you both dig in where you were. Neither one of you moves over to where the other one is. That's what happens when you are outside the vortex when you do your affirming. It's like you are affirming the opposite of what you mean to. I'm developing the skill to direct my thought, right? I do not need to have money to attract money. Well, that is fortunate. <laughs> but if you should find yourself accidentally in the vortex, it happens. Where just for a moment you cease thought about unwanted things and you notice the sunrise or the sunset or a child walks across your path or your cat jumps up in your lap and you pet it for a little while or you hear a song that makes your heart sing you find yourself in the vortex all of you do sometime during the day and if from inside the vortex you begin reading these affirmations the feeling is entirely different because there's no vibrational backlash are you hearing what we're getting at? If you're speaking about what you want and it feels bad to you when you're doing it, it's not helping. Don't effort when you are vibrationally out of sync. The first order of business is to get vibrationally in sync. The first order of business is to get in the vortex, to tune into who you really are. And then the story I tell is the basis of my life. That sounds nice when you're in the vortex. I'm the creator of my own life experience. From inside the vortex, you feel that empowerment. You're glad that you are. You're looking around, you're rendezvousing with thoughts. It feels good to you. Goosebumps are shivering up and down you. As you read what you know to be, as you find affirmation with what the source within you is affirming all day, every day, it feels wonderful to you. It's life-giving. You feel frisky, you feel exhilarated, you see. So, what we're getting at, we think you know what we're getting at. Don't try when you're not in the vortex. If you're not in the vortex, you have only one thing to do. Get in the vortex. Well, how do you get in the vortex if you're not in the vortex? Well, stop doing whatever you're doing that's keeping you out of the vortex. Oh, all right, I'll leave my husband. <laughs> I'll quit my job and I'll give each and every one of my children away. <laughs> that isn't exactly what we meant. We mean the things that you are doing all day, every day that are affecting your vibration the majority of the time are the things that are going on in your mind. It's the things that you're thinking about. It's the things you're pondering. It's the beliefs you hold. A belief is just a thought you keep thinking, you know. So what you're wanting to do is change your beliefs, train your beliefs. But here's the thing that this getting into the vortex conversation is really wanting to impart to you in a way that you've never heard it before. Don't try to change your thinking from outside the vortex. It will only backlash and make you dig in more. To change your thinking, you've got to be up to speed with who you are. So what does that mean? Meditate, quiet your mind. When you quiet your mind, you'll stop thought. When you stop thought, you'll stop resistance. When you stop resistance, your vibration will raise. When you run, when you take walks, when you get out in nature, when you interact with those who you really love, when you make long lists of things that you appreciate, when you get on rampages of appreciation. We've written several books and every book is full of processes. We know you're sick of them. Processes and every process is written to assist you in moving in the direction of who you are. But this is the big one. This is the big one that will make the most difference the fastest to you. This is the process that says, somehow, some way, I'm going to quiet my mind. I'm going to hypnotize myself. We don't mean that literally. I'm going to find some way of bringing myself into the vibrational vicinity of who I really am. And when I'm feeling measurably better, then I will offer my effort. Then I will set my goals. Then I will make my plans. Then I will call the airline and book my flights. Then I will go to the department store to purchase clothes. Then I will make love to the person I love. Then I I will call someone on the telephone. In other words, get in the vortex and then, get in the vortex and then, get into the vortex and then.